If you are closely watching the space industry, you know that Blue Origin's new Glenn is known more for its constant delays than anything else. There have been multiple instances when Blue Origin got everyone excited by setting a launch date, only to delay it again for many different reasons. The rocket was originally supposed to launch back in 2020, but for more than five years, it has faced delay after delay. And now, Blue Origin is once again promising a launch. At first, many of us thought this was just another one of their empty promises and that they'd delay it yet again. But now that we are less than a day away from the launch, it seems real this time. And we'll talk all about it in today's video. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about launch developments. New Glenn is a heavy-lift rocket named after John Glenn, the first American astronaut to orbit the Earth. Designed to compete directly with SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, New Glenn is a two-stage rocket standing over 320 feet tall. It boasts a massive payload fairing designed to carry large satellites and cargo, with the potential to deploy up to 45,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit. Now, with just hours to go, Blue Origin seems ready for launch. The rocket stands on the pad at Launch Complex 36, a historic site at Cape Canaveral that Blue Origin has refurbished for this purpose. The mission's success will depend not only on the rocket's performance, but also on the recovery of its massive first stage, which is crucial for demonstrating its reusability. If the launch is successful, New Glenn could finally mark Blue Origin's entry into the orbital launch market. This would allow the company to serve a wide range of clients, including government agencies and satellite operators. New Glenn is also expected to play a key role in deploying satellites for Amazon's Project Kuiper, which aims to provide global broadband internet, a direct competitor to SpaceX's Starlink. The competition in the space industry is another factor that adds pressure to Blue Origin. While New Glenn has faced delay after delay, SpaceX has rapidly advanced its technology, launching dozens of missions annually and proving the reliability of its reusable rockets. SpaceX's dominance in the market has set a high bar, and every New Glenn delay has only widened the gap between the two companies. However, Blue Origin's slow progress has fueled skepticism among critics. Adding to this skepticism are the legal battles that Blue Origin has waged against its rival over the years. Perhaps the most notable example occurred in 2021, when Blue Origin filed a lawsuit against NASA after the agency awarded a $2.9 billion lunar lander contract to SpaceX. Blue Origin argued that the decision was unfair and that NASA should have selected multiple providers rather than relying solely on SpaceX. This was not the first time Blue Origin had taken legal action against SpaceX. In 2014, the company challenged SpaceX over its use of Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Blue Origin claimed that the historic launch pad, which was originally used for Apollo missions, should be made available to multiple companies, rather than leased exclusively to SpaceX. The challenge ultimately failed and SpaceX retained control of the launch pad, which it now uses for both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Despite the setbacks, Blue Origin remains determined to launch New Glenn. The key to New Glenn's success lies in its BE-4 engines. These engines, which are fueled by liquid oxygen and liquefied natural gas, represent a major technological achievement for Blue Origin. Each new Glenn rocket will be powered by seven BE-4 engines, providing the thrust needed to carry heavy payloads into orbit. However, the BE-4 engine program has also faced delays, which contributed to new Glenn's slow development. In 2022, Blue Origin finally delivered the first batch of BE-4 engines to United Launch Alliance, which will use them on its Vulcan Centaur rocket. Before New Glenn can fly, Blue Origin must complete several critical tests, including the static fire test of its BE-4 engines. This test, which involves firing the engines while the rocket remains stationary on the launch pad, is one of the final steps before liftoff. The FAA must also approve Blue Origin's launch license, which involves a rigorous review of the rocket's safety and environmental impact. However, reports suggest that the December 2024 launch remains uncertain. 
If Blue Origin encounters any issues during testing or fails to secure FAA approval in time, the maiden flight could slip to early 2025. If New Glenn's flight is delayed to January 2025, it will coincide with SpaceX's Starship Flight 7. Given the immense interest in Starship, a fully reusable rocket with unprecedented payload capacity, New Glenn's debut risks being overshadowed. For Blue Origin, this would be a missed opportunity to capture the spotlight and showcase its progress. SpaceX's Starship program has already completed six integrated test flights, with each launch improving on the last. The early tests face significant challenges, including mid-flight explosions and incomplete objectives, but each failure brought valuable data, allowing the company to upgrade Starship systems and performance quickly. Now, preparations for the seventh flight are well underway. Flight 7 will focus on refining the rocket's full flight trajectory, particularly the successful recovery of the Super Heavy booster and the upper stage, as well as improving precision landing systems. SpaceX has also been fine-tuning Starship's heat shield to handle the immense temperatures during re-entry. For Flight 7, the launch trajectory is expected to follow a similar path to previous tests where the Super Heavy booster will aim for a controlled splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico, while the Starship upper stage will target orbital velocity and perform a controlled descent back to Earth. With improved grid fins, booster control software, and landing techniques, SpaceX is confident this flight will mark yet another step toward achieving a fully reusable system. When we look at 2024 overall, it has been the best year for SpaceX since its foundation. They completed over 90 Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches throughout 2024, surpassing its previous record of 61 launches in 2022 and 87 launches in 2023. Increasing launch cadence and expanding commercial partnerships have significantly boosted its revenue. By the end of 2024, the company is estimated to generate over $9 billion in revenue, a substantial increase from $7 billion in 2023. Much of this revenue comes from Starlink, SpaceX's satellite internet service. Additionally, SpaceX secured multiple high-profile contracts in 2024, including partnerships with NASA. The Starship program has also been a centerpiece of SpaceX's achievements this year, with four launches. Looking ahead, SpaceX plans to take things even further in 2025. Musk has publicly stated that the company aims to conduct up to 25 Starship launches in the year, a number that would shatter existing records for heavy lift rocket launch frequency. This isn't just talk. The FAA recently granted SPACEX approval to streamline its launch licensing process. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.